Hey coach, welcome back to the channel. If you're watching this video, you're seeing another success story from a coach that's part of our school program. And we're gonna be talking to Coach Burke. Burke lives in Seattle, Washington. He's a private soccer trainer. He's gonna be talking about what he was doing in his business, what he's doing now, the changes that he's made. So if you're interested in making these sort of changes in your business, go right below. You're gonna see my school group there. You can see a demo video. Everything is very clear there and you can apply for the program. Thanks so much for watching and you're going to get a lot out of this interview. Awesome, man. Well, yeah, all I want to do here is, is really just kind of ask a couple of <clears throat> questions that, um, uh, I think that can help people that are, that are watching this and tell me like, how did you initially get started with private one-on-one -on -one training? Like what, what led you to that? Uh, well, when I was in college in Memphis, a parent asked me to train their kids. That was the first time. And she, it was like $40 for each for two kids and for me that was a lot of money so i was like wow i was like that's pretty good and then i, I really liked working with the kids like i really enjoyed it so i was like okay like maybe i could set this up somewhere so when i got to i went back to seattle and then when i was done playing college there i and during covid i just set a bunch of trains up mm -hmm. got it got it okay cool and i guess like try to explain like before we met before we started working together like what were what were kind of the big things that you were struggling with that we ended up working on that that have helped you uh just getting an account set up for payment system that was huge um getting organized with my training sessions like now the the players that i train that are on my you know i haven't transitioned everyone to the like payment system yet because that'll be everyone will move in august mm -hmm. but the new that have it's efficient because it's like wow i mean they just pay right away i don't have to chase them down which is really nice um and they know the set schedule and we have a set schedule like organization it was the big thing mm -hmm. for me being so scattered and now i feel more uh like set and comfortable with that and then field space as well and that's something i'm still working on but mm -hmm. field space one thing that was really tricky but now like i'm actually like going through the necessary steps to get mm -hmm. feel rather than just hoping yeah got it so let's talk about like before we met how, what was what was your process like with parents like if you were going to have a session like how, how were people setting up sessions with you in the past i mean they'd have to text me they have to text me and now it's like They'll go through, we've had a couple people go through the website and they've applied there and then I get a text and then I, I reach out to them and I say, you know, let's set up a call. Mm -hmm. And so like, I've been on four calls now with new com or five. Yeah. Four or five. And that's all the calls have been great. Um, I probably would say I have like a, I want to say right now, like a, what I have three or four 75% success rate with that, which is pretty good. And nice. it just feels more. I like the call because it's not like, Hey, we're going to schedule the session. It's like, let me talk to you first. And mm -hmm. I feel like they see like how serious I take it. Mm -hmm. And then they're more committed to doing it. Yeah. Yeah. It's a different feel for the parent because they know that they have to be qualified to work with you. Right? Yeah, exactly. Got it. Got it. Okay. So let's kind of talk about, the process that you have now. So it's like someone applies, they get on a call, you vet them at a like eval session and then they, they join the program. So with the program that you have now, um, like what, what do parents have to commit to in order to be accepted into the program? Essentially. Well, the first thing that they have to commit to is the, the schedule. I'm like, Hey, I have a, like a schedule, like I'll work with you on that, obviously. But I'm like, we have to get a set days, mm -hmm. like plan or we can even get started. And then the other thing is I was, you know, on the contract that I have, it's, they can't be right at the session. For instance, like they can't be right next to me. They have to be at some sort of a distance, like outside the fence or whatever. And they can watch obviously. Mm -hmm. um, and then the other thing is I say, like, if they can't handle the training, then that is okay. Like this is not for them. Cause I always mm -hmm. tell them like my trains are very specific. Like your kids, you know, I'm not going to make your kid throw up from running, but like I do have a standard of which they have to be able mm -hmm. to handle. And if they can't handle it, 
then it's not for them. And that's the biggest thing for, I think that attracts parents is because they're like, okay, this isn't just something, you know, where this guy's just going to do whatever he wants for an hour. It's more planned and organized. And I think, I think parents appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah. No, they definitely do because at the end of the day, they want their kid to be in an environment where they're learning, getting better. And if the bar is set low, it allows kids to join that shouldn't be there. And that takes away from the whole experience. Uh, and I like, I like what you have because you, you know, you have a high standard and you know, it's not for everyone and you're willing to say no to people that aren't a good fit, which is very different than just taking on whoever that wants to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I would say that... it makes me raise like my standard, like, you know, when I'm coaching, like for instance, if you're tired or something, it's like before it's like, Oh, I'm getting it through Venmo. It's like, I'm like, ah, and now I'm like, okay, no, like this is, I represent, you know, I have a business partner. Like I represent more than just myself here. So it's like, I obviously mm -hmm. I make sure I'm doing a good job regardless, but it gives me that extra incentive of like, this is not just about me. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it gets you to put more skin in the game with your clients, especially when they're on these contracts and they're doing stuff longer term with you. Like at this point with your business, like if you just have to take like a, a small step back, like what's your what's your goal over the next like three months, like 90 days with, with your business? Over the next 90 days, it's to get as much exposure as possible out into the community. Like we're mm -hmm. we're doing, right now we've done three clinics and they've gone really well and we've gotten a lot of new people and we've gotten a decent amount of people to sign up for our program but we're looking to just be like as much as possible get out there so people know our name people know yeah. what and just yeah as much exposure as possible cool awesome man yeah so i'm gonna share my screen i'm gonna show you something because i think this is gonna help you guys a lot um so this is within the uh, course here. So under get more clients, one thing that I know B can help with uh, and something that you guys can do together is like going through this module here can help get a lot more exposure. And then this is a newer thing that we put together that can help get a lot more people at a local level to get eyes on either applying for your program, like setting up a call with you or going to your website. And you can target people within the local area, like a 10 mile, 20 mile radius that have kids that play soccer um, on your ad. And like this guy, for example, right here, um, he's been utilizing the, the model that we teach here. Like, last month i think he did close to 20k and okay. really his whole thing is like he runs an ad people sign up he calls them he sells a higher ticket sort of offer where people have to commit uh, and obviously they go through a process it's not just he just sells it straight to someone the first time he talks to them um, but he has a process that he has but this would be something that i would want you guys to implement because if the goal is to now get more traction locally like this method is going to help a lot. And then we show you here step-by-step step how to actually set up the ads. Um, and then one thing that we're doing too is um, this is something I'd want you to be able to take advantage of is on our calendar. So the first week of every month coming up. So let's see here. Yeah, there we go. So like we're going to be doing a call where like we're reviewing ads from coaches that are part of our program that are running ads so like you'll be able to see like okay this is what's working for this guy and ultimately we just want coaches to be able to utilize what other people are doing gotcha. uh, but yeah we show you step by step how to do that there so coming up that'd be something i'd really want you to take advantage of is is go through that see how see how it's working for you uh, and look to improve on that but this module right here is going to help you guys for sure get new new clients at a local level because now you guys have the systems in place. So it's just yeah. a matter of now getting more kids signed up, whether it be for one-on-one yeah. -on -one or groups. Um, okay, cool, man. So 
on on my end just have a couple more questions before we go so what do you think if you had to boil it down like what do you think was the biggest change that you've made in the last like two months since we've worked together like the biggest permanent change that you can think of that's that's going to help you the most in the future i think just like you know people before would ask me what my program's like and i text them like a spiel now it's like i think having the website is huge because it shows them what we're about it has like all that stuff on there saves me time and they can apply on there and then the payment like the payment system is very nice like i just hated having to chase people some people you know they wouldn't respond and i'd be like having to chase them down so having people pay and just having it go straight to a bank account is really nice mm -hmm. and when you were chasing people down was that like do you mean like you were texting people to like pay on venmo and stuff like that exactly i'd be like hey you haven't paid yet could you do that when you get a chance yeah and then they would either do it or not type of thing yeah i mean everyone everyone would do it but sometimes it'd take like you know six days it's like i don't want to have to like you know. so you'd be waiting and then yeah they would finally do it got it yeah got it yeah and how much how much time do you think that's saved you since you've done it the newer way i mean i don't know it's got to be you know it'd be little bits but over time with every client i mean it would be hours because you know i'd have to think you know if i if i tell someone what our program's like i would have to like type up a response think about it and then for in terms of tracking people down with payment it's like that takes that's just mm -hmm. stress <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah got it man and tell me i guess like now because like i know how you actually sell your program to parents because we've gone through that together but like how much more confident do you feel now like with the process you have in place like when you actually talk with a parent that applies that's speaking with you directly about your program i feel very confident because but i feel like i'm like hey this is like proper you know like this isn't mm -hmm. you just then mow me it feels it feels more professional and now i feel like i can give more because of that because it's again it's not just me it's other people involved and i feel like i feel like i have to meet an expectation even though i always try to hold myself to that but now it's like i feel like i'm like hey this mm -hmm. is like it looks it obviously looks really bad for the company if i do a bad job so i'm like i'm definitely going to do mm -hmm. this. Like, yeah 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 and that's that's one sh shift that i see with coaches is when they when they make it more professional it causes them to raise their own standards to, to make it better experience for the client. So the clients stay refer like they're there long-term. Uh, and it's, it's also just a better first impression. Uh, cool, man. That's awesome. So, so I know in the future you're trying to get more people uh, obviously signed up. So like advertising, getting more people to come in into the door, more clinics, that sort of stuff. And, and what would you tell a coach that maybe is is thinking about getting my help or, or working with us in the accelerator program? Like, what would you tell someone who's kind of on the verge of making that decision of like wanting to do it? I'd say, it, depending on what they want, if what you need is like, if you need, if you want to run like a proper structured business, I would say this is the place to go because it's very efficient and there's so many people involved that are relatable to you so it's like any problem you have someone else has probably had it mm. and it's very helpful in that sense but i would say it's only for someone who's actually going to utilize the yeah. program you yep. know if it's something where you're like ah, i don't really need that then but i'm going to sign up and use like little bits it's like i would use as much as you can and like ask as many questions as you can as well mm -hmm. so yeah. be afraid to look stupid but i think it's I think it's very helpful because it's helped it's helped me get more structured and feel and be more professional. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. A, a key thing you just said is like be willing to ask questions because odds are, I mean, at this point, I, I just checked, we have 231 people in the program and it's like very likely that someone has already gone through the thing that you're saying in the in the community in a question so you you actually get support whether that be yeah. for me or, or other coaches in there um very cool man that's awesome uh, well i'm excited to to see your growth coming up 
Um, I, I do think good next step after this call is you'll definitely are wanting, I would want you to be able to join those, those coaching calls that we have on Tuesdays, uh, specifically those Facebook calls that we do once per month, because that's going to, I think, give you good insight to see what other people are doing, but you can also get coaching on your ads too on that call. Okay. So that'll be really good to help you expand the, the business coming up. Awesome, dude. Well, thanks for coming on and sharing your experience. Appreciate uh, the time today and keep doing what you're doing. And I'll, I'll see you coming up at an upcoming coaching call. Awesome. Awesome. Thanks, Ben. Appreciate it. All right. Got it, man. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye. Yeah, you too. See ya.